Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial and today we're going to talk about how to easily crop down or resize images for things like your Twitter banner or Facebook banner or especially web pages that have the big banner picture across the top. A lot of schools are using those and a lot of times we'll get kids with their heads chopped off or are real pixelated or are super grainy, you know, that kind of thing. So we're going to talk about a really super easy way that you, doesn't take a lot of technical know-how and you can just put some pictures in there. It'll instantly crop them uh, all using Google products, all free on the web. Check it out. Okay, so for example, let's take a look at my webpage, mrleeteaches.com, and we can see how all of these images right here that scroll through, except for when you mouse over it, are all the same size, and it's not cutting people's heads off. It's, I mean, this was a bad selfie. I cut my own head off in this one. Um, but they're all pretty good uh, pictures, and, and they all show what I want them to show. And they weren't taken at the same time. They weren't taken by a professional photographer, but I was able to make them all the same size with very little effort. So let's talk about how I did it. So what I do is I will go into Google Drawings and you can get to Google Drawings by just going to Drawings, oops, spell it right, .google.com. And you can also click your waffle uh, to get there, but drawings.google.com, whatever the product is, .google.com will take you straight there, and it's so much easier sometimes. So now we have a blank canvas, okay? This is not the size we want. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna resize our canvas. So we're gonna go to File, Page Setup, and this gives us some options. So we can do a standard four by three, and that's your rectangle, uh, 16 by nine, 16 by 10, or we'll go to Custom. So we wanna do Custom because I know that I want a 1600 by 700 banner image, okay? And that's not an uncommon size. So instead of inches, I wanna do pixels because I know the pixels of the banner that I wanna do. So I'm gonna change this to 1600 because that's the width and then by 700 because that's the height. So now I'm gonna end up with a canvas that's 1600 pixels wide and 700 pixels tall. And I hit okay. And now you can see that my canvas went from little, little one on the page to a rather big one on the page. And that's kind of big for me to look at. So I'm gonna to go to view, zoom, and I'm just gonna drop it to 50%. So now I can see everything, all right? So now let's add our image. So if we go to insert image, I'm gonna pick an image that I have in my Google Photos album. Okay, uh, you can upload it from your computer. That's just as easy. Um, if you know the link to it, if you in your Google Drive, all of these are just as easy, but I do all of my pictures in Google Photos, and I'm probably gonna be doing a video on that soon, so stick around and, and subscribe, and click the little bell next to the subscribe so you get updates on when I release videos. So I'm gonna click Photos. I'm gonna go to my albums, just real quick, and I'm gonna scroll down. There's one I'm thinking about from a couple years ago. Yep, there it is. So I took a vacation in Boone, North Carolina and took some decent looking pictures there. And double click into it. And then we see all my pictures from that album and I'm going to pick, let's pick a good snowy picture. Ah, that's a good snowy picture. All right, so I've brought this picture in and you see how the picture doesn't fit the canvas? If I were just to upload this to my webpage or the Twitter or something, it's gonna automatically stretch it and crop it and it's gonna look like crap more than likely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it much bigger so that we will fill the space. All right, and then you notice how you see when I get to the edge, it kind of clicks into place where I can see that I'm on the edge. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to make sure that it's centered so if I, click and drag, I get that red line once I'm perfectly centered, and I'm gonna scoot it down just a little bit more, and make sure it's centered. All right, but it's still bigger than my canvas, and that's not what I want. Okay, a little trick I'm gonna show you is if you take it just off center, now you can see your canvas in the background, right? So we haven't adjusted the width. We've made our width the correct width, we know that, but that hasn't changed. We just moved our, our picture over a little bit so we can actually see our canvas, which is our measuring tool at this point. So I'm gonna click the crop tool 
And then we're going to get these little black lines and black corners. We want to grab the black line in the top and we want to drag it down. Now it's going to turn red when it lines up with the top of our 700 pixel uh, canvas. So we let go there and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to do the exact same thing coming up. So I'm going to grab the black bar on the bottom and I'm going to drag it up till it turns. Well, this one didn't turn in red, but I can see that it's lined up. So we let go there and then we're going to press enter. And now we have a 700 pixel tall picture. And it's a little off center, so I'm just gonna click and drag until we line back up. And it gives me the nice little crosshairs and tells me when I'm perfectly centered. And when I'm perfectly centered, I don't see any of my canvas sticking out of the edge because we have a 1600 by 700 pixel image now. Now, let's just say I wanna make sure, I, I, don't, I don't like this particular view of the image. I can double click it and I can see kind of the ghost image from behind. So I don't wanna recrop or anything, I just wanna move it. So once I've double clicked it and I see it in this view, I can actually click and drag and it's gonna move the image around. Now it doesn't do it perfectly live, but if I click and drag just a little bit at a time, you can see how it's moving that image. And so that's, that's the view I wanna see. That looks good to me, so I'll just click out. And now we have that view. So now we've cropped out our image at the perfect size and we didn't really have to know how to do or fit or whatever, right? So we're gonna go over here and title it and we'll call this one Boone um, Header Image, um, 16 by 700. And that way we know what it is when we save it to our computer because that's what we're gonna do next. So now I'm gonna go to File and I'm gonna to go to download as. Now this is going on the web. There's no transparency on this. There's no moving animations or anything like that. So the best idea would be to do a JPEG. JPEGs are very small in size, but they retain the high quality. So I'm gonna do a JPEG and it downloads it to my computer. And now I can go to Twitter or Facebook or wherever and upload this image and it's gonna fit perfectly right where it's supposed to be. Now here's a tip. Once you've done this once, rename it to 16 by 700 image template. And I'll tell you why we're renaming it. I'm gonna keep this image in my Google file, in my Google Drive. And if I want to ever change this image but keep the size, so I wanna do a different header for that website, or if I have like a scrolling one like on my website, and I wanna do multiples of the same size, I don't have to go through that process all over again. Watch this, I just click on here once, so I've selected the image, and I'm gonna replace the image. I'm gonna go back to my Google Photos, and I'm gonna pick a different one. Um, let's see, we'll pick, we'll pick, a, we'll pick a selfie from my webpage. Let's just take a look at that. So I, I pick the image that I want, and I click Replace, and there, it's replaced it. It's already cropped properly. If it's not exactly the way I want it to, I double click again. Now I can see the ghost background image, right? And you see how I'm cutting off the heads of these ladies back here? I wanna fix that just a little bit and I'm gonna drag it down. And now I've got those ladies in, but her head's cut in half. So I'm gonna drag it back up a little bit. And now their heads are worse and her head's better. Sometimes you're just not gonna win, okay? But you can kind of play with it a little bit and kind of get the best of both worlds uh, kind of situation. So let's say that that was perfect enough for me. So I'll click off and now I can come over here and rename the file, go back to download as, download it as a JPEG, and then it does the exact same thing. I can keep doing this over and over and over again as many times as I want and the images are gonna come out as high a quality as possible in the correct size. So there's gonna be no stretching, no warping, no heads cut off, because you can you know, adjust that. Um, so I hope this helps you out when you're making your web presence look great. Uh, remember, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you like this content, and click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I put out a video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you a little bit more often than I have. Uh, till then, have a great day.